Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Monday. Today is Monday, April 27th, 2020. If we were to write the date out using only numbers, we would write for January, February, March, April, dash 27, because it's the 27th day of the month, dash 20, because that is the last two numbers of our year. We are still in the season of spring. Today is supposed to be 55 degrees Fahrenheit outside, so pretty warm outside. You might need like a light coat, and it is going to be sunny, so make sure you get outside and play a little bit today. Um, yesterday was Sunday, and tomorrow will be Tuesday. I hope everybody had a great weekend and you got some time to relax and read books or play outside. It was really nice out, so I hope that you all had time to do that. All right, um, we are going to get started with our um, uh, long addition and subtraction problems. So take out a piece of paper or a whiteboard if you have it. Um, if you need to go grab that, go ahead and hit the pause button and then start it back up once you have your materials. And we're gonna practice this because I do not want you to forget about it when you go to third grade. And I want you to tell Mrs. Brown or Mrs. Uh, Grodinich, Mrs. Collins never taught me that when I did. And I'm going to show them these tapes, so you better remember how to do it. All right, so let's start with our addition problem. Today we're going to do 801 plus 92. 801 plus 92. All right, I am going to do my HTO. Keep it really nice and organized so that I... Don't accidentally add something that wasn't supposed to be added. So I have my ones place, my tens place, and my hundreds place. Ones, tens, hundreds. Oh, all right. One plus two equals three. Very good. Moving to our tens column. Zero plus nine equals. Very good. And finally, eight plus nothing equals. Eight. Very good. Did I have to regroup at all in that problem? Nope. I didn't carry anything over. There were only ones in the ones place, tens in the tens place, hundreds in the hundreds place, and I did not have to add up any more. So that was a pretty easy problem as long as I kept everything neat and organized. Notice that I was adding nothing to that eight. I could have put, if I wanted to, I could have put a zero right there. Um, to help keep me organized, make sure I knew that that was in that place, but I knew that I didn't need that, so I didn't put a zero there. So either way would work. So I hope that you all got that problem right. Go ahead and erase, and we are going to do a subtraction problem. All right, I'm going to start with my HTO this time. Go ahead and on your whiteboard or your paper, do your HTL so that we stay nice and organized. And we've got ones, tens, hundreds, uh. All right, the first number, the top number that we are going to be subtracting from is 712. Go ahead and write in 712 minus this is a subtraction problem, so we need that minus sign. 468. I'm going to draw my line. So I'm subtracting 712 minus 468. If you need more time to write that in, hit the pause button. Try to solve it, and then come back and check to see if you get it right with me. So actually, everybody hit the pause button. I want you to try to solve it on your paper, and then once you've solved it, I want you to unpause it and see if you got the answer right. I'm excited to see who can get it right and remember. So, pausing. Okay, did you unpause? All right, I hope that you all got it right. Let's check your answer. So we're always gonna start in the ones place. Eight, so oh, let's go ahead and write that down. Do not forget the BBB rule. If the bottom number is bigger, you have to borrow. So every place you need to see if the bottom number is bigger or not. Is 8 bigger than 2? Yes, it is. 
so we have to borrow. So we're gonna borrow from this one. We're gonna move that group of tens over. So we now have zero tens left, and we're going to add that group of 10 over here. So we're gonna add 10 to this two, so that two now becomes a 12. Because we already had two ones there, and we added an extra 10 ones. 10 ones plus two ones equals 12 ones. Now we're gonna subtract 12 minus eight equals four. All right, now we're gonna go to our tens place. Is six bigger than zero? Because we have to do our BBB rule. Bottom number is bigger, we have to borrow. Yes, six is bigger than zero, so we have to borrow again. So we're gonna borrow from the hundreds place. We're gonna take one of these hundreds, so we're left with six one hundreds and we're gonna move that group of 100s over, which is the same as 10 tenths. So I'm gonna add 10 tenths to that zero tenths. So I now have 10 in the tenths place. So I have 10 tenths, and I'm gonna subtract now. 10 minus six equals four, very good. And now I'm gonna subtract the hundreds place. Is four bigger than six? No, so we can just subtract, we don't have to borrow. Good thing, because there's nothing to borrow from. 6 minus 4 equals 2. Very good. Our answer for that one was 244. So I hope that you all got that right when you hit the pause button and tried that one on your own. All right, today's assignments. You have math lesson 10.1. You will be um, gathering data using tally marks. You can either um, survey friends and family through FaceTime or phone calls, or you can use my data. And then you have a writing prompt, the writing prompt will be um, what do plants need to grow? So you're going to write just like a little paragraph about what you know about plants and what they need to grow and everybody should know that answer because we talked about that with the brassica plants. Um, and I would like everybody to go on Splash Learn or um, Moby Max for at least 30 minutes today. And that's it for today. So if you have any questions about anything, make sure you message me um, and I will talk to you soon.